Hello everyone, it's Jayblader. Welcome back to another episode of Salt and Shadow, the Dark Souls inspired difficulty. I'm not going to call it a Kaizo game. That's a game that are often just unfair, uh, but th this game is unfair. Let let's be real, okay? And speaking of unfair, there's a battle here that last time I could not do, but this time I've strategized. I've used the wrinkles in my brain to produce a result. This guy's got two water absorb toads. They're both going to be using surf to heal each other while damaging me. But I got a plan and we're going to try it out. And that is a, an assault vest slowking and Celebi with both magical leaf and leaf storm. We're just going to go straight for the poly wrath and just take it out as fast as possible. So let's use leaf storm. It's probably not going to. Okay. at one shot. Beautiful. We'll take it. Um, Celebi is very good. Surf, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't do too much. Yeah, not too bad. So it immediately is not going to be able to like reheal itself. That's the important thing. And we're going to go with Magical Leaf and Mega Punch this time and hopefully take it out or do a lot maybe. Nope. Okay. Oh, Surf in the rain doing a lot of damage. We're going to use another Leaf Storm just because I know it's a strong move. There we go. The The special attack drop is pretty brutal, though. But there we go. We beat Sailor Drowned. There he goes. And I have no idea what this guy's got. I found this duck. I put a hat on it. <laughs> Ducks with hats. There you go, dude. That's how you should look at the end of the world. We got 12 more days until the end of the world. Okay. Uh, Seismitoad and a Lude Colo. Well, you probably got a really similar type of thing going on. So we'll take out the Seismitoad. And let's do a uh, Mega Punch on the Ludicolo. Weather Ball. Oh, no. Okay, okay, Slow King dodged it. All right, Seismitoad's out of there. Celebi can't, Celebi actually just cannot, I cannot lose Celebi. Too strong of a Pokemon at this point in the game. Too strong. Let's go into Heracross, who's gonna have a bug type move, and then we'll go with the uh, Confusion. Maybe we'll get the actual Confusion status effect. Oh gosh. Okay, Weather Ball is, what, what, it's doing water, oh my gosh, it's doing water? What do I, I just have to be faster, and I have to kill it with Steamroller, that's the only thing I can do, or I have to sack Heracross. Alright, we sack Heracross, I guess. Oh, Heracross lived! Heracross lived! Oh my gosh, Heracross! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! Okay, Endure, probably not going to be useful. Muddy Water, that's a Surf-esque move that's better than Brian, so let me actually teach that to my Slowking here. I'm once again out of potions. Can probably afford a few more. Let's see. The Shepherd turns his eyes beyond the veil and refuses to see tomorrow. Of all the betrayals I've suffered, his stung the most. At least he managed to impart a final lesson. Trust only in yourself. That is a doom and gloom message, my man. Really? The wild crabby is going to be a problem? Goodness. We got flip turn. That's a pretty good move. It's like a U-turn. And then we've got one of these puzzle challenges here. And they often give some good items. So let's give it a shot. You're challenged by memory of drowning. Wingle Pelipper. So it's they, this reminds me of stockpile type of moves. They, they get stockpile, they get watery things. Oh, this is going to be tough. Hurricane is flying. So we fake out we'll Quiver Dance, right? Surely? So these types of these types of like puzzles, we basically get one... Well, we get multiple goes at it, but the game is going to give us very specific resources, and we have to use those resources to try to, try to beat this battle. Hurricane is guaranteed to land, but it's just not a super strong move. I mean, Dark Pulse is going to do more, right? Let's do Hurricane, and let's do Strength Sap, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. I'm slow, I see. Well, this first time we're doing it, I'm just going to go and skip through this, because this is just going to be information gathering. I'm just gathering a strategy, because I don't know what's going on yet. All right, this is take number two. And I'm going into Torko earlier here, just to kind of, I'm, I'm kind of fishing for things to see what it's going to do. Also going to get rid of this Wingull that I'm guessing has a uh, Drizzle. Okay, it's going to send out Pelipper, which is going to give a Drizzle again. Yeah, that's what I figured. This is going better though. Okay, we've taken out two of his Pokemon. 
All right, Blossom's out of there, but that's okay. So it can't set up rain anymore, so we've got the advantage on that. Oof, that didn't kill it. Oh my gosh, I misplayed. I should have just went... I should have just went with the other move. It would have taken it out. Okay, it's fine. I think we win anyway. Okay, that'll definitely knock that out. Oh, that was a crit. Jeez. Okay, I think we win though. I don't see a way we lose from this point. Nice. Yeah, we, we did it. We did it. That one was way easier than the, the other one. Here we go. A memory blooms with fresh determination. And we found another memory of triumph, which is a revive. Awesome. I'm going to see what other Pokemon are here in this area. Nothing of interest. And we only have a few more battles to do down there. But got to buy more healing items. And these potions are so expensive. But I don't think I have an alternative right now because I'm saving my days. I'm saving my 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 days until destruction. I think th I think that's smart. Maybe I can't remember what this guy had, and that may be my down my downfall. But let me see what he has again. We can always run. Oh yeah, okay, that's right. So this is actually like doable now, and our typing here is good. Okay, let's give this a shot. Let's take out the whale lord first. Oh my gosh, Celebi is so good. Oh, goodness gracious, Slowking. Goodness gracious, brother. Okay, we'll go with another Leaf Storm. It's our last Leaf Storm, but I think we can get our... I think we can get our uh, PP back. We'll just do Ice Punch. We should be able to knock it out with this combo here. Oh, Ice Punch is not going to kill it. Slowking! Okay, we'll go into Togetic because it will get... I can get a Life Dew off maybe. Oh my gosh, I trolled that. Should have just went out in the Fortress. All right, it happens. We're fine. We're fine. Hey, we defeated the groundskeeper, though. And now that he's out of the way, we can see what's in here. A lesson to those venerated, the queen of orchids. Those who stand tall will be cut down. Those who burn bright will be snuffed out. That doesn't sound great. A lesson to those in prison, the will breaker. Those who seek the control of the champion forge prisons of their own making. Does not sound great. Oh, another shred of hope. We can use that to revive a Pokemon, actually. Like our... I mean, Slowking has kind of been pretty good. I, uh, I'm going to hold on to that Shred of Hope. Slowking's been good. Got some ethers. I don't like the looks of you, my dude. Let's see what we got over here. I'm filled with sickening chill of doubt. Remember, nothing is impossible. And we got TM58 Assurance. Okay. Could be good. And there's a little door here that I'm guessing we need a code or something for. The door is unusual. It looks like it's been made of old computer parts. On its surface, someone scratched out a crude picture. It looks like a hive. In any other case, the door is locked. Probably not that interesting anyway. A hive. I know where a beehive is. A listen to those that venerated the nameless shepherd. Life begins and ends at the word of the champion alone. A listen to those that venerate the dragon master. Loyalty will preserve your existence. Bravery will not. Well, that sounds sad. Yeah, let's, let's use the shred of hope on Slow King. Sloking stats, pretty good. All right, Entei and Fortress, it's y'all's time to shine. Let's see what this policeman has to say. Many challengers have entered the throne and never returned. Would you like to purchase one of their Pokemon, level 20, for $12,000? I mean, all of these Pokemon are insanely strong, but I do not have $12,000. Uh, what's up? Ah, another challenger. I've grown bored of watching them carried out as bags of dust. Of all the apocalypses we could have, why must ours be so repetitive? I've invented a little game to pass the time. Would you like to try my game? Sure. Delightful. Here, you'll need these. The man hands you a set of cards, and we've saved a card binder. We'll play for low stakes, just $1,000. I'll explain the rules, but I'm sure a clever child like you will figure them out. After all, this game is based on a familiar truth. The weak submit to strong. Oh, it's a card game in a game? Um. Oh. Oh, gosh. Not a card game, dude. Okay. Um, 4333. Three, three. I'm guessing it's like, I'm guessing it's like HP attack defense or something like that. Um, okay. These are, these are, I don't know. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh, I see. We got to choose type advantages. We got to choose type advantages, don't we? Maybe. I don't really know what's going on. The Wanderer lost against suit. Yeah, I don't understand the game yet. Dude just robbed me. I don't know how to play the game. You didn't explain any rules at all. You just said, here, we'll play the game. Gave me a card binder and then walked away. All right. I can see that that can be a way to make money, but I obviously don't have money to make money. So I 
for, screw that, I guess. Here's another, um, here's another puzzle. I'm sad I lost that. That could have been a way to make money. Goodness gracious. I'm tempted to, like, look up the, the answers, but at the same time, like, what's the point? All right, let's see what we're working with here. Oh, we got a full team. Oh, frick. All right, this one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be tough. It's Trick Room and Spore. Okay! You're sending out a Mega B drill right off the bat. I don't I don't even want to do this one. I've lost motivation to do this one already. We just started. I know it has Poison Jab, but I, I just don't want to do this. That seems like it's going to take time, and I ain't ready for that. I'm still upset that I lost the card game. Wait, there's someone here now. Is that a card binder? Oh, Muck, yes. New player, can we play? I want to see what you've got. Sweet. I, I don't have any money to bet. Okay, we'll, we'll come back. Okay, that gives our PP back. Nice. It's good to know that we can use that to get some PP back. And we can access this item now. Don't be a Pokemon here. I don't want to catch anything good. Okay. Shred of Hope level 20. Not useful right now, but thank you, thank you. I, mean, I guess it could. I could get like a Pupitar or something. Anyway, we, last time we unlocked this area over here to the left. And then I just basically was like noping out of that. So we'll, we'll, we'll not nope out of it now. Treasure? Uh, I don't have any treasure. Do you have some treasure? How tough are you gonna be, my man? Milk Tank and Tauros. Okay, you're gonna be- you're gonna be one of these guys. Alright. Well, we got decent typing. Sacred Fire is crazy move. Let's get Tauros out of here. It's gonna probably hit the hardest. Whoa, good animation. There we go. Tauros is out of there. I'm gonna switch into something that can deal with a Milk Tank. There we go. We beat the Youngster Hermit and we got money that I can go battle now. I don't understand the card game though. I- I might actually just have to Google the mechanics. I don't want to Google the answers. I'm sure someone somewhere has the answers out there. You pulled up the sprout and we obtained a big root. Okay. Uh, I do want to, I do want to be able to do it though. Do the crops feel our sadness? Um, plants do have feelings apparently or can feel pain to some degree. Recently discovered that one. All right, we've got some good old typing for this one. So this shouldn't be a problem. Oh man, Entei is putting in work. There we go, Thunder Punch. Yeah, I really want to buy one of those people that lost one of their Pokemon. And I know I didn't go into the building. There was like a building there I could have went into. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know if I want to go in the building. I'm scared. What happens when I go in the building? Games like this, I don't know like what I'm actually getting myself into until it's too late sometimes. So I don't even, I don't even want to push my luck, you know? Anyway, let's... Let's try to beat this young lady here. Oh, a pincer. Nice. I wish I had a pincer, although I do have hair across. And I'm pretty happy with my hair across. I'm not going to lie. Entei, though, is crazy strong. Oh, my gosh. What a great addition. Entei, maybe... I, it's hard for me to say, like, this is going to be a Pokemon that I want to take to the final. Like, we're going to be taken all the way. But to me, it feels like... Feels like Entei may be one that we keep around for a minute, you know? Fortress has also been so good. Oh, Mysterious Flowers is a silk scarf for the Mysterious Flowers. Goodness gracious, this game has so much stuff in it. All right, warning, stop here. This is the last trainer blocking Sky Spear Climb. Wild Pokemon Spice Sky Spear Climb are much higher level. Well, I need to, I need that. I need higher level Pokemon. I need access to more totem thingies, so. Let's give him a shot. Level 24. Okay. Well, I can't use my fire type moves. I can't drop. I can't drop. I don't have. Okay. We're going to have to strategize about this one. I just don't have a team that can deal with that at all. I'm talking to rocks. There we go. Black glasses. All right. Sure. Raises dark type moves. Yeah. Dealing with two fire types. Kind of similar to the dragon's den problem where we're dealing with two water types. I haven't forgotten about that guy. That's two Gyaradoses. Another Ashen Shard. That's enough Ashen Shards for another upgrade item. So I want to go get that too. This game has a lot of like very, in my opinion, purposeful backtracking. So I will backtrack and let's go do that. Oh, there's someone here now. I just flew to this location. Are those shadow cards? Splendous. What cards do you use? Do you defend the corners or try to bait your opponent for double captures? Wait, don't answer. When I found out for myself... Okay, 70. See, this is what I'm talking about. I can afford 70 Poké Dollars to, to, to try to figure out how to play this game. Okay, 377. I don't understand that at all yet. I'm going to guess the top number. I, I, don't, I don't understand. 
Am I doing this right? Oh, I didn't capture anything that time. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to Google what what the mechanic is because I'm not I'm not quite understanding. My brain's not quite working. This is the hive I was talking about earlier, by the way, when it said something about a hive. Was it last time? That's what it made me think of. Uh, oh man, there's so much stuff to explore in this game. There's so much. We need the move thief. If we can get the move thief, we'll be good to go. Actually, I need to go see if any of my Pokemon have the move thief. Let me go do that because we can farm berry juices and stuff off shuckles like we got some options so let's see if we got the move thief anywhere no no thief no thief i can finally put one of these items to use though cracked flute okay so this will stop wild pokemon from spawning apparently or from bothering me which is good because i need to cover some ground thank you Oh, we unlocked it by touching all the trees last time. Okay. Caution, there's no way to get this item. Please excuse the flawed creators of this world. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's trick. Get it, guys? Because it's a trick. Get it? Because it's a trick. And we got a real boom. Level 23? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Sassy nature, that's good too. It's tanky. It gets overgrowth, drum beating, raisin leaf. Okay, yeah, Rillaboom's freaking amazing. And hey, let's get it some better coverage. Yeah, like it gets U-turn. That's pretty good. Does it get ice punch or fire punch? Nope. Okay. Anyway, let's go see what's in this little opening here that we've unlocked for ourselves. Dreamer's tomb. It's quite literally a tomb. Let's see what we've got here. Music notes are etched into the stone. A young girl walking through the forest. Her hair was sunset red. She found a quiet clearing and made of it her bed. The monsters found the child, but never did they feast. The dreamer's sleeping smile made guards of every beast. One day, a dashing champion came across her den. He left her sleeping deeper. She'd never dream again. Okay. Incense gathered from the shadowed sea. I'll take it. Sure. Why not? I need every help I can get. Every stinking little help I can get this game. I need it. Sea Mother's Tear? What is a Sea Mother's Tear? Make any Pokemon evolve. Choose if multiple. Okay. Well, good to know. And we got a statue here. Statue of the Watchful Knight level 40. No offering can earn its forgiveness for what happened here. <sighs> I see someone was apparently murdered here. Foul play. Seems like there was a murder or something, and that does not sound great. Foul play can be a strong move. Oh man, I, I just feel like there's some sad stuff going on here. Lots of sadness. I don't like it. There might be Pokemon in here too. Let me turn off my little, little flute. Alright, let's see if there's Pokemon in here. Okay, doesn't appear to be Pokemon in here. But we tested it. And now we know. Anyway guys, that's where we're going to end this one. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. And I'll catch you in the next one.